in my experience, uh, men and Christmas, they don't really get along, you know. Seriously. I mean, women, uh, we really get it. I mean, we really get Christmas, you know. <laughs> we really get it. The men, sorry, uh, I know y'all don't understand, but it's okay. Because we women, we really like Christmas. I mean, seriously, your poor thing also. La, uh, Christmas, ask y'all go and shop for other people. Huh? Y'all cannot even shop for yourself, right? Seriously, which man you know buys their own underwear? Nobody. When they're young, their mother buys, then their girlfriend, then their wives. Huh? If they don't get married down there, I don't know what happened. After you get married, sometimes it, it can be quite a handful because you got a lot of people to buy for, you know. Previously, you got one family, right? Right now, you got to buy for two sets of parents, three brothers, four sisters, five aunties, six uncles, 77 cousins, 18 neighbours, 999 friends and still got one dog. This kind of shopping uh, can only be done by a person with a particular DNA. And that job is up for a woman. Yes, a W-O-M-A-N. I'll bet you, 2,000 over years ago, when Mary went to Bethlehem and all the men around her told her, sorry, no more room in Bethlehem. Only left a dirty manger, you cannot, you move on. Mary said to them, move on, no way, man, hello. with the son of God and I didn't even get to have sex. A manger's not the problem, clear the cow down, respect the haystacks. Now put the sheep, goat, cow and Joseph standing in the right place. That's the way nativity's gonna look like for the rest of Give birth to 